heat is intense. teacher had failed. An error in a crucial part had led to all-out hostility, but as its song soured it had seen the threat in all its probability. The core had itself ejected, sensing its main function was affected. But its plan had faulted. The machine slowed down, but they hadn't halted. The world was slowly being torn apart at the seams to bring the core back from its flight. Would return the song to the machines? Would that set it right? Something was missing, and that filled Glitch with terror. What was it that had caused the initial error? What indeed? So much destruction. Is this what awaits the world? aligned perfectly above its rightful place and slowly started to descend with monumental grace. The heart of the world returned and then was made whole. They had returned the heart to the world, thereby fulfilling their role. Right? No! Take a number! Guess again! The moon glowed red and menacing. Something was wrong. A thrumming in the earth could be heard. The moon heart singing its song. Glitch could hear it speaking of order through destruction. This was not the same teacher that had given his instruction. This was why the moon had ejected itself. Because it was broken. Its song perverse. They had returned the heart to the world. Unwhole. Making things worse. Glitch realized this machine was not caring and kind. It was a broken heart. Glitch had to go underground and return the moon's vital missing part. Patches had opened here and yonder. 
insects marching for extermination. If they did not go forth now to save all life, they had simply sped up its damnation. Stuffy too would go into the hive, even if that meant risking his life. entered a world of metal through and through. Shadows moved above them. What were they getting into? The metal insects were aimless automatons no more. If Glitch and Stuffy were caught now, they would never reach the core. It would be the end of them. was one big, intricate machine hive, and every part of it moved, turned, creaked, or squeaked as if it was alive. slept. Destroying, not creating, their function reversed and inverted. 
all wool the machines had gathered ever since the time of woe was being consumed by the fire that burned down below. Glitch had a suspicion, unspoken, a thing he greatly feared, that this wasn't just the wool of the land, but also of those that had disappeared. We should end this. Unaffected from the heart's red glow, a praying mantis kept doing its work with care. Glitch had seen it before, although it wasn't easy to recall when or where. It was at his birth, the first thing Glitch remembered seeing, this world's janitor, or some mysterious being. All was connected, one big machine world of steam and gear. It still estranged Glitch. Was his place here? It seemed they had found the final resting place of all Stuffy's kind, taken away from their wool when long ago they were trapped. Their eyes sorted, stored and carefully kept their lives in these metal tubes confined. Were they even still alive? They had stumbled into the spider's hive. They had to run or they would not survive. They ran past the door when it suddenly slammed shut. It would delay the spiders, but they would try to find a shortcut. There was no telling what to thank for their sudden rescue or how long its metal would last. What was left was to go up to try to save the future by mending the past. The heart was just ahead, once again connected to the world, but with a missing part, without glitch, lacking empathy, incomplete. Would the spiders allow him that last chance to rejoin the heart? Or was it the final chord, their end that they would meet? The machine was running wild. Something had to be done. But there was not enough time, for the spiders had come. It was over. But Stuffy wasn't up for that. He might not be the brightest bulb in this shed, but he knew when to do the right thing. Glitch saw his friend run with dread. But because Stuffy went to distract the spiders, Glitch just had time to plug himself in. He had to. He had to. Stuffy was torn apart into a million pieces chopped. When the spider stopped, their claws dropped. The heart of the world made whole. The kind teacher once again in control. The initial glitch mended. The conflict could now be ended. All over the world this happened. As machines were returned to their purpose true. To create, to guard and repair creatures and Woolen World too. So, 
what about Stuffy's kind? Thousands of woolen bodies mislaid. In storage, the teacher found the souls of all harvested Stuffies carefully displayed. No pair of eyes had ever been destroyed in those hundred years of strife. It was time to return them all to life. And so life was returned to a world that would otherwise have been bared to its parts. It shows how far you can come with a little courage and just enough smarts. Never give doubt the chance to discourage you and don't let fear stop you. Never. Ever.